Hello and welcome back to today's veg garden and today I'm going to be harvesting the large sweet corn and the mini sweet corn which are both well overdue for harvesting. We've got some decent sized uh, ones on the large sweet corn and it's looking like we've got pretty good germination on it. Oh, it's quite juicy as well. <laughs> so we got about two per plant, which I don't think is too bad. It's two to three. Um, this variety is lark, but we I did plant them, or did sow them, and um, quite late. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we get. Right, well these are the mini sweet corn, <laughs> not really mini, um, but not many either. Uh, we've got around about one to two per plant, which is, is a nice size, you know, that, that's, you don't need one, you know, more than one in a meal. So I'm going to see how they taste and how well they freeze to see whether we grow those again because one or two I know you know that that's for one meal but it's quite a bit of space getting used up just for one or two sweet corn mini sweet corn and then we got these these are the, the larks now most of them are you know decent size I've still got to take all the uh, the outer leaves off see what we've actually got um, but I had a few that just, they started growing after all the, the pollen had, had dropped. So they were never going to be anything. So that's a bit disappointing. And yeah, I've had a taste. They just, I couldn't really use them as, as, as mini sweet corn. They're just a bit spicy. Yeah, not. I suppose I could use them as mini sweet corn. What do you think? Do you use them as mini sweet corn uh, in cooking? Have I just wasted one? They're watery, um, but there's not real amount of flavour. Again, I don't know what the flavour is of these anyway, um, but they're just that little bit, bit, yeah, a bit spongy. So what I'm interested in to see was they didn't really have uh, any roots coming out considering these are supposed to be, you know, heavy rooted um, plants. I was quite surprised at that. So what I'm going to do is just um, empty that out and see what the root ball is. It's, it's not too bad, but I was expecting to find a lot of roots coming out of the pot, you know, that's, that's what I keep on hearing about sweet corn is, you know, it's a heavy rooted plant. It's a big feeder. And, you know, have they not produced big enough fruits because they were in the pots? Uh, I don't know. Or was it just the, the, the heat waves that we had? Lack of water? You know, is this a good crop of... Um, 14 plants Is this a good crop of what we've we got there nine we've got 15 plants there So I don't know well, what do you think you know and I could do some um, advice on the comments uh, below 
Right, so while I take all these um, skins off them, see how well they've germinated. And they don't look too bad. Pretty well got most of it germinated. Um, I'm just going to show you these. Uh, this is where I planted up some volunteer potato plants. And they literally were very volunteer, very small at the time. So this is the, the next clip while I uh, take these uh, outer skin, outer leaves off. Right, as you can see, there wasn't much of a root or any tubers <laughs> on them. I wasn't gentle here, was I? That's what happens when you, you got a camera in the other hand. <laughs> I can't believe I got potatoes from these. It just purely was an experiment. As you can tell, I just... <laughs> I wasn't really gentle um, planting them up. I just wasn't expecting anything to come of them. Yeah, I can't really do it, one hand, can you? And that was it. Three potato plants. Right, so I've buried them uh, lower than the, the level of the pot. Um, but a bit of a close up now. Right, so I've planted them a little bit deeper than the, the level of the pot so that some of it will be buried. But they had good root system. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to, to fill them in now. I've got no idea what they are and whether this will actually work. I mean, put it down in the comments. Am I just going to grow a plant? Or will I grow um, a plant that actually has tubers, the potatoes? I don't know. And I've got no idea what they're going to be, but again, if, if we get something, this is all just the rejuvenated compost. So if we get anything off them, it's a, it's a bonus. <laughs> There's nothing better than a free potato. So hopefully that will, that will work. Right, bit of a time lapse while I do this. So this was the, the, the first one I, I cracked open. I was just surprised at the size of these bare Charlotte potatoes. Some of them did have scab on and I, I just chucked them. But this one's a good one. And the rest were all good. It really was just like looking for buried treasure. Just couldn't believe how many there were. second one and the third
Right, so this is the sweet corn I got. Just 12 cobs. And these are ones which haven't fully germinated. And then these are the, the sweet corn. This is one of those ones that just developed after the, the, the pollen had all gone, so I never got germinated. Then we've got a couple that are just didn't get germinated and that's not too bad and this one is three quarters just a couple here so I think I could use that one I can freeze that one but then this one's just a, a bit of a hit and miss and then I've got 25 um, cobs of the, the mini sweet corn. Right, well these two are interesting. It looks like the the mini sweet corn has actually germinated. You know, that's how I would expect it to be. And these have germinated. There's quite a few that are the same. Which according to where I got the seeds from, they don't actually germinate so I'll just have to see what these these taste like because that's what I was expecting to see <laughs> that's not really a mini sweet corn is it <laughs> is this a good return I'm not sure it's a bit like potatoes isn't it these are you just don't know whether they've actually germinated even though you can actually see these grow you don't know whether these have actually germinated until you take off the um, the leaves. And these are the Charlottes, the Volunteer Charlottes. There's some decent sized ones there, so if I see any more potatoes just sprouting up, I'll, I'll continue doing this because it, it, it's a... Um, I wasn't expecting anything like anything like these. That's why I didn't actually video it. So I'm really pleased with these. Bit of a surprise they were. Right, so yeah. Is sweet corn a novelty crop? Look at the mess I've made. <laughs> I can't use that anyway now, can I? <laughs> right. <laughs> So it is sweet corn a novelty crop for what you actually get. You know, over the summer we, we had um, the, that real dry period, so I was watering every day 14 plants and 15 plants. Now even if I put them in the ground, I still would have had to be watering them. So is it a novelty crop? I've got good germination and these are really juicy at the moment. So they'll be going straight into the, the freezer straight after this. But yeah, I don't know whether I'll be growing them next year. We'll have to see how they, this all tastes, how it stores, and we'll, we'll decide whether we actually grow them next year. They are tempting though, aren't they, just to bite in. Right, I'm waffling again, so like I say every time, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again.